Hello, this is True Story. I am Nicole Edelman, and I am happily sitting across from Jan Schickel and Alice Tabery, the producer and directorial team of Reconstruction of Occupation, Reconstruce Occupatse, yes? And I'm very happy to sit here with you today. Thank you for sharing your movie with me, and I'm excited to talk about it. So hopefully more people will see this very beautiful film. Um, briefly, just to get started, would someone like to share what this film is about? Let's begin. <laughs> Let's begin. <laughs> yeah. The film is uh, about the historical event uh, of the Soviet invasion into Czechoslovakia that happened uh, the 21st of October 1968. And it's about uh, really great archives, like three and a half hour that were somewhere hidden for 50 years and then that Jan discovered and decided to search for who are the people in those archives that were shot during several days during this occupation and where it was shot and who shot it. So we started this film with this, this uh, first thing that happened and then we, we collected a lot of testimonies and try to make a more generous testimony out of all these this people's stories. It's a fascinating film um, for our listeners and our viewers. This moment in history is a huge moment in history for the Czech people. And knowing that, and I've lived here for five years, almost six, it was really beautiful to get an inside look at who these people were on those days that were so um, violent and frightening. So I want to definitely talk about some of the feelings from you, Jan, from receiving these uh, films. How did you feel getting these canisters, knowing that it had such rich history inside? Uh, you know, I, I'm collecting uh, found footage films from 90s. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I'm, I'm, I made the archive of, the, of this private history and this is my hobby uh, and I uh, like the, the, the director of the documentary I using this, uh, this f uh, found footage films for my new uh, documentaries. And once I met one friend and he told me that I have at home some 35 millimeters film. Do you interest think about it? Yes, what about? I heard this is from the 60s, from the year 68. And I have no chance to, uh, what is it inside? Because 35 millimeters is a strange, strange size of material. He, 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 he gave me this material and it was a four hours of uh, of material and when I began to tr transfer it to the video I was <clears throat> shocked because I saw the really professional film material from the occupation mm -hmm. uh, which was uh, shot it in many many uh, places in Czechoslovakia and uh, very professionally de describing what is happening in, in these days. Mm -hmm. So it was in this moment, it was for me a big treasure, uh, yes, which I get to the hand. And of course, uh, I, I told myself, you have to use it for some film. But the question was how to use this material, because uh, the events from, the, uh, from these days are uh, described yet. Mm. And uh, the people know the facts. What is happened that Soviet uh, Soviet army came, and uh, the, uh, the places where was uh, shot it, uh, shoot it? Yes. shot 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 yeah. it in the last. <laughs> um, and uh, and uh, these facts are known, but uh, uh, therefore I cannot uh, repeat once again uh, these facts. Uh, in, in my film, and I, uh, and uh, the question was how to use this material, yeah, and therefore we began to cooperate with. It, it was a big advantage. We began to cooperate with Czech TV. They uh, published this my question how to how to work with this material, and uh, I pose a, a, a question for the public. 
people which are which uh, I ask the people he, if somebody know the places if somebody know the uh, people which are uh, on the material please call us and uh, contact with us and uh, maybe from this testimony we will be ready to make uh, the film so um, we began and we doesn't know how we will finish yeah we uh, this film which we uh, open it was uh, from the beginning uh, such a uh, such a game with, with with the with the reality you can feel it in the filming of reconstruction your film this uh mystery and solving a mystery who was there what was their experience i think this is a lovely time to take a look at the trailer no, pak mě něco zastavilo a jak padal tak ten prapor padnul na něj proto byl tak zakrvácený pokud jde o krve prolití nebyl bych proti to byl moment kdy jsem si uvědomil že je opravdu konec a couple of things are brought up for me as a viewer. Number one, I loved how the simple everyday activities of life are shown in these films. And then there's this jagged edge to when this period of time happens. And I think as we talk more about your film, I want to explore those two opposites, that normal banal, easygoing, Czech lifestyle against this time that felt difficult, jagged, and was violent. I feel like as filmmakers, you do this in, your, in, in how you made the film, with the silence, with when you do choose to use music, and then also with dialogue. When these films were presented to you, did you know the stories? Did you have a sense of the stories that would be coming to you? Did you get? A, did you know? Did you know as a Czech man what might be coming? Yeah, uh, uh, of course. I I didn't know which people uh, call me and say me. Yes, I am on the on this sh uh, sh uh, material. I, you, uh, I I am ready to uh, say you uh, what I survive in this moment. Uh, it was, and I didn't know ahead. And first was that we have to uh, shut it uh, in the first for the first meeting because when the people are repeating to you for the two times or third time what they survived, the, the emotion of this speech are are, are losing. It, it means that I we have to every time take a camera and uh, uh, go uh, and visit the, the people and uh, and uh, shut uh, the, the material for the first uh, for the first from the first moment yeah and uh, what we wanted is also to put stories that are normal like mm. normal people and that this even even didn't change so much their life like and mm -hmm. to have people with really like so big moments that for example a brother of the people was yep. killed uh, a son was killed or people that lost the job but we wanted to combine also people that uh, just said yeah we could not do anything we were ordinary people mm -hmm. and so we are and so it was a big moment but my life just went as it was before. And to me, that brought up a lot of different thing, themes. And again, I'm speaking, my frame is as an international, uh, an American living abroad in the Czech Republic, knowing this was such an important event in Czech history. And the beginning, the middle, and the end, how that moment in time happened, how people felt about it while it was going on, and then where we are now, how that has changed us, how that has changed Czech history. So I'm interested when people own their stories 
And one of the things I saw in the film were people maybe for the first time owning a part of their own personal history that really, really did affect them and changed them forever, but in an environment where it wasn't talked about ever again, or am I wrong? Am I right? Am yeah, I yeah, wrong? Yeah, 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 yeah. People, uh, when we uh, contact them, I was surprised because uh, all the people was full of the emo- emotion. Yes. And it was strange because 50 years ago, yes, 50 years ago, the people was ready to go, uh, speak about uh, August 68, very, very, uh, uh, let's say, with big emotion. Uh, and uh, what is necessary also to say, uh, the... Uh, what was happened before? Uh, because uh, this film is not only about this, this moment of the invasion. This film also about this what was before and what was after. Mm-hmm. And this is more maybe this is more important because what was b- before it was so called Prague Spring. Mm-hmm. It was uh, half year from the uh, January '68 to the August when uh, the uh, political events was uh, very quickly change, uh, changed from the. Let's say Stalinism to, to some uh, maybe to some a uh, new uh, new regime which which was f- full of democracy and which was which could be full of uh, let's say uh, rights of the people and the people was uh, full of, of the emotion in this period to change their lives mm-hmm. Suddenly came the August 68 invasion of the uh, Soviet army, and all these uh, uh, all these uh, hopes in the one moment fall down, fall down. Of course, the people began to uh, defend in this moment, but the uh, the energy of, of this defending was very short, and suddenly in the next. Several months came the first period, which was called uh, um, which was uh, called uh, normalization. normalization, and uh, this normalization is a moment when the people uh, lost uh, the jobs, when the uh, students cannot continue in in the education, uh, when uh, we cannot uh, go abroad uh, to, to 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 the other countries, and so and so. And uh, now is question how is possible how in one year could society so quickly changed how it's possible that so, so big big emotions so big hopes uh, suddenly fall down and uh, the society completely lost uh, or shut mm-hmm. for themselves mm-hmm. and. Uh, uh, Began to 20 years of next uh, next uh, period of the uh, of the socialism, which was uh, everything uh, closed and uh, let's say like the Pushed beton, <laughs> yeah, and uh, and I, I asked uh, to to my uh, subjects uh, how it's possible that these changes was happened. Uh, what are uh, what's yours are what's yours reflection of these m- changes? Yeah. How it's possible that uh, s- the things uh, uh, can uh, changing, and, uh, and so quickly, uh, and so quickly, and uh, the people, uh, each one, each one have uh, uh, the own answers for it. Uh, I, everyone have own story, uh, explaining what we doing before in, in the, uh, before the uh, invasion, in the invasion, after invasion, and each one is of course uh, each each story is different because somebody is fighting against somebody uh, 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 turn. Turn. turn and uh, uh, close his life itself and uh, uh, stopped in, in his hopes. 
It's a really interesting film. I hope um, this interview leads to more people watching it because those stories that you're talking about were enthralling. And each person had their own point of view and their own take on that moment in time from Prague Spring until um, the occupation. And the footage is amazing, and um, I can see why you found it to be a treasure, for sure. And that lack of hope or that bursting of hope, that Prague Spring as we know it to be, and then that flipping to a lack of hope is really profound and also seems very specific to this region. And I ask you as Czechs how it makes you feel knowing that that happened 50 years ago with that high, high and that low, low. Mm -hmm. And then where are we now after that big movement? High, high, low, low. Yeah, you are speaking now about uh, big Czech uh, own... Um, <laughs> Uh, trauma. Trauma. Yes. Let's say. <laughs> and, trauma. And this trauma, it's it's a let's say main <laughs> main uh, question of a whole film, yeah. because I'm asking also myself uh, how uh, we are. What's what is our reaction of um, the moment? when we are getting some chances in the history. And if, uh, my question is if we are ready to keep it, this chance, and keep it and uh, for forever, or if we will lose it uh, uh, for, for the future. This is actual question also today for us. Yeah. Uh, because, uh, you know, uh, the, the politics uh, klima is, uh, is not... Uh, not, uh, not uh, Sure, for four. Well, and to that point, so we were discussing off air about the impact that this film can have on other communities. And I do think it has and can have a tremendous impact. Uh, the Czech nation is not the only nation that goes through political upheavals, yeah? And how the Czech people responded to this particular upheaval I think is very interesting, and we should look at it to see how we move forward in the future. But is there anything um, that we can say, um, and I really I think it's best if you just speak personally, how do you feel then, knowing about your own Czech history and Does it make you want to be politically active? Uh, this is uh, not only activity. I very often answer for this question is that people in first moment uh, uh, get a big emotion and uh, are ready to go to the streets and fight and fight for uh, for for their ideas. But uh, uh, this uh, emotion is very quickly turn back, and uh, the Czech people are not uh, ready to. Uh, For example, I admiring Belarusian, Belarusians today. Mm -hmm. They are fighting for their, their, uh, for, for their life for a whole year today. Mm -hmm. This is great, but I hope that we are not ready to fight so long and maybe something to lose uh, ourselves in this, in this fight. And uh, Czechs are the people which uh, like... Uh, Istotu. Certainty. 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 Certainty and clit. And clit v životě. <laughs> and, and, and to be calm, and everything. Calm, yeah. calm in, in the life. Yes, no, no, no big he's drama. The, and so, yeah, <laughs> we have this emotion in the first moment, but very quickly we, we begin to uh, think, uh, yes, maybe today will be uh, for us this, this um, position problem and let, let's, let's stop it. It will be better to, mm -hmm. to have everything in the calm. True Story is a documentary podcast powered by the Institute of Documentary Film. You can find news from the world of film on all the common platforms such as iTunes, Google Podcasts, or Spotify, as well as on docweb.net. And I know that has led to some feelings of humiliation. That was a word that came up quite a bit in one of your interviewees' statements. Um, and I also want to state for the record I'm a very happy uh, immigrant living in your country, and I uh, attach to Czech rebellion. Uh, 
And one of the things that I did see in your film that I would like to highlight is this rebellious nature that is also underneath in the soil of your country, specifically the standout at Pilsen Radio and um, learning that the manhole covers could usurp a tank as it came through the streets. So there's a lot of footage to show that there is a heavy rebellious spirit in the country of the Czech Republic. And um, I know it's still there. <laughs> I see it often. But I feel the struggle. And you feel the struggle when you see this film. So how, can, how do you want people to see this film? Especially if, how do you want people to see this film in the Czech Republic? especially younger people that may not know all of the layers of and importance of the history? And how do you want people that are not in the Czech Republic to see this film? What do you mean? Yeah, I, I would like that the people see the film as I've seen it uh, when I just saw what we made. I was, because I don't know the period of 68, I'm too young, I know it just through my parents and we haven't discussed it so much. Like I, I know just the historical facts. And when I've seen um, this movie, and I think it's a sort of uh, activist as well doing this movie and m making it about these topics and this even, I would like that the people see it as me, that I had the emotion, how this is possible? Because I knew that it happened, but it, I didn't know the stories. I When you see the footage, you, so you see the emotion, you see, see the reality and you feel it. It's not just that you learn it at school, but you really see And I was quite really touched emotionally by the concrete stories, but also touched by seeing con directly what happened, how, how was it possible. And also I had the connection to today's situation that we are free and we can lose the freedom Very so quickly. Good, and it's, it's possible, it happened, it can happen. So I would like to, to push the people to have like an activist Uh, mind point of view about, about it. it yeah 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 and uh hopefully it yeah it uh, they they are aware of uh, how it can lead if we if we just let it go <laughs> i think that's huge because again i felt the same um knowing a little bit but not obviously being here or living through that time about that um The emotions, the rebelliousness, that was a major takeaway, and that, yeah, it can be gone in a heartbeat. It was very strange to see footage of tanks going down Wenceslas Square. It feels like my neighborhood, too, now. Mm. That would be crazy, mm. you know? And what about you, Jan? What mm. do you I had a six years in this moment when the mm. tanks come. And um, I also I have a very concrete, uh, concrete uh, uh, story in my head because uh, I be, we lived in the center of the Prague and I saw the tanks for, from the from the first moment. But um, I was I had uh, six years and after what came in the school and what the teacher taught us. Uh, It came to me, and I, I talk, uh, or I, I accept it like the normal things. Let's, I, I because I, I like the child, child saw that yes, this is a normal, uh, this new, new period which came. It, it was a maybe uh, more. It is a most, most tra traumatic moment because I, I, uh, uh, I saw that whole this period of um, um, Husak's regime in the 60s, in the 70s and 80s, it's a normal. It, it's a, it's a, it's a. Um, uh, že to je no, it, 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 it's a normal style of living and, and this you have to change in, in your head because you have every time in the head the things could be better yeah and uh, it, this this meaning uh, uh, let's say changing also your activities Making adjustments personally. I have I have in the film also the moment which I uh, answer on, on it because uh, uh, there is a scene when I, when I am coming to uh, to our family cottage mm. in in, oh, yes. in, the, in the wood. It's a great and moment. 
me, like the small child, written to the wall, the communists are the uh, uh, bastards. Mm -hmm. It was my protest. Nobody saw it, of course. Uh, I, but it's a maximum what I done in this moment, and it's a, my my trauma. I never uh, done more, and I uh, I cannot imagine that it's possible to done a more mm -hmm. or do a more. No, I understand. And uh, again, we uh, I could keep talking about this because I find this topic very interesting and very important. And um, you know, I'm partly here because I have a I have a, a political active background of being a political activist and there are troubles in that and I really felt the troubles of that when people said what is the point of being on the street anymore this is how things are now and people then just acquiesced they surrendered which is another period or word that came up for me while watching the film surrender um, yes. Yeah, yes. I have just one hope, not only the young people, but yes. that if the people that are the stories uh, keepers or that that uh, were like adults when it happened, yeah. and now after these 20 years are in a other mood, and if they see the movie and come with their memories again, so I hope also that these people will be like somehow... Reactivated. Reactivated a little bit because they already already forgot about it, I think, or not forgot. They have them, they have their memories mm. inside, but they are not sharing, sharing, etc. And I hope that those people also, after so many years, will be again like in this situation and thinking of what happened, actually. It's a super powerful film. I highly suggest everyone sees it. How can people see this film? And how can we continue to support this? this? <laughs> we okay, just, here we go. <laughs> Alice, we, lay it on us. We just put the, the, the film into, how is it called, into a... Um, uh, Secret uh, yeah. treasure t t trezor box. <laughs> box. I don't know. No, because we we wanted to show the film this August, but because of the COVID situation, we just decided to keep keep it one more year uh, under the under the table, and we will show the film in Czech Republic. Uh, the premiere will be in one year in August. Uh, okay. August. 2021, <laughs> and we hope for some festivals during next two years so also for a foreign audience we hope to well to you should be very film. proud of it and please let us know when it's available online as well so that international audiences can see it or if you have um global distribution we'd love to be of, let people know about it thank you so much for coming and speaking to me about it and thank you for sharing your film with me thank, thank you, you. Thank you. <laughs> bye true story is a documentary podcast powered by the institute of documentary film you can find news from the world of film on all the common platforms such as iTunes, Google Podcasts, or Spotify, as well as on DocWeb.net.